Welcome to the Swedish Japanese Performance Association. Our goal is to promote the interest in and knowledge of Japanese popular culture. My name is Pepijn Klaassen and today I have the honor to be able to interview one of the pillars of contemporary Japanese metal, none other than Capitina of Fate Gear. We are so glad to get this opportunity. Thank you for joining us, Mina-san. Uh, for those who are completely new to this, who might not know you, um, please tell us, who is Mina-san? はい、えっと、ガールズメタルバンドフェイトギアでギタリストとして活動しています。え、ほとんどの作詞、作曲もやっています。よろしくお願いします。え、she uh, says that I am the guitarist of Fate Gear, which is a all female uh, steampunk uh, band. Uh, and uh, she's happy to be here and do the interview. <laughs> All female steampunk. That sounds that sounds really intriguing. Um, is there any more you can tell us about the music you're you're playing? えっと、音楽についてもうちょっと説明いただけますか。はい、えっとですね。私はあの結構メロディアスな楽曲が好きなので、え、メロディアスメタルってパワーメタルっていうのかな。そういうジャンルのメタルをやっています。でも結構最近はいろんなジャンルを取り入れて曲を作っています。こんな感じでどうでしょうか。She uh, says she uh, the the sound of the band is pretty much a melodic metal and it's also reminiscent of power metal. Uh, but she listens to a lot of different music and she thinks that uh, a lot of other different sides of her influences also show up in Fate Gear. Mm -hmm. And the band Fate Gear, it has a very uh, typical style, visual style, an image that is that, that sets you apart from uh, many of the other bands. Um, could you tell us a bit more about this particular style? Fate Gear is a very image そのイメージはどこから影響がもらったんですかあのそのアイデアは何から生まれてま生まれたんですかそうですねまあまず見た目はスチームパンクなんですけどこれはあの私アメリカに行った時にアメリカでなんかスチームパンクのお店とかスチ
来てくれる人が結構いました。Uh, so she says that、uh, it has definitely、uh, set the band apart a bit because the fans that came to the shows when they went abroad、uh, weren't just metal fans, but they were also fans who were there because they appreciated the fashion and the clothes, clothing styles of the members.、Uh, now we're on the subject of, of、uh, clothing style. Um, you recently tweeted、uh, about costume making fun. Do you design and make the costumes for the band yourself? The band is a fashion designer. The band is a costume making fun. The band is a costume making fun. The band is a costume making fun. The band is a c o s t u あそうね、ツイッターに書いたやつね。えっ、ー、と、すごい簡単なスカートとかはできるけど、難しいのは作れないです。<笑>だから、これこう、今着てるやつは買ったやつです。だから、私、自分の着るやつとか、メンバーの着る衣装は私がコーディネートを選んでますけど、本当に簡単なやつしか作れないです。<笑> Uh, so she, she can design very simple stuff like skirts, but the, the clothes the band wears, she picks it out, but she doesn't design it herself. The Japanese rock and metal scene, it, it's not that well known in, in Europe or in Sweden,、uh, even though there are fans here as, as you have experience. But what would you say is so special about、uh, Japanese rock and metal music? Eto, スウェーデンで日本のロックとメタルはそんなに有名じゃない、えっと、も,あのもちろんファンがいるんですけどあの体,調にあの体調にとって、えっと、日本の特別なポイントとかは何だと思いますかそしてあの人がもっと日本のロックを聴くためにあのあにあ日本のロックを聴く理由を教えてください。もっと聴く理由。はい、えっ、ー、と、さっきも言ったけど、私、XJAPAN がすごい好きなので、日本のバンド、なんだろう、見た目と、見た目を工夫して音楽を伝えるっていうバンドが結構、多いと思います。あと、ベビーメタルなんかも今世界中で人気あると思うんですけど、彼女たちはなんか踊りとなんか音楽を言うと、融合してるというか、そうですね。だからライブ、日本のバンドのライブ映像とかをぜひ見てほしいなと思いますね。うん、そんな感じです。<笑> So she believes that、uh, Japanese bands in particular、uh, have a very strong visual profile.、Uh, and you have bands like X Japan、uh, from the past, and you also have bands like Baby Metal now, who put a lot of effort into their visual performances.、Uh, so she thinks、um, that people should,、uh, uh, where, where, where the Japanese music isn't that popular, that people should. Uh, check out the live performances of Japanese bands to get into them. She thinks、mm. that would be a good idea.、Mm. Well, there are literally thousands and thousands of good Japanese bands, but only a few of them ever make it outside of Japan. They are able to tour. How often has Fate Gear been able to tour or play outside of Japan so far? <laughs> 海外までライブできるバンドが少ないえっとえ、フェイトギアはえっとどれぐらい海外に行ったことがありますかえっとヨーロッパツアーは2回やっててあと去年ロンドン公演が1公演だからまだ3回ですかね
<笑>あの全体的ツアーは3回ってことですかね。そうですね、ロンドンは1回だけだから、ツアー2回と単発のロンドン公演が1回かりましたって感じかな。So Uh, they've been abroad a total of three times,、uh, and one of the times was just for one show, and the other two were more like、uh, European tours.、Mm-hmm. The most recent European tour was in February of this year, right before all this corona craziness、uh, upset the entire music scene.、Um, it brought you to several places in Europe.、Uh, Any particular country or city, city that, that made an impression on you? えっと、今年の2月は一番最近のヨーロッパツアーでしたよね。えっと、そ,ねその時の,あの<笑>特別な国か街の強い印象とかありましたそうですね。どれも印象深かったけど。特にドイツはメタル好きの人が多くてすごい盛り上がったなっていう感じでしたあとは個人的にスウェーデンもすごい行きたかった国なので初めて行けてよかったです um, So she, she thought that、um, the, the German fans were、uh, interesting、uh, the metal fans in Germany And then、uh, she also was very happy to go to Sweden because it was、uh, like a personal dream of hers to someday visit the country.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but she also felt that、uh, all countries had、uh, gave her some kind of impression that lasted.、Uh, what were you able to experience from Sweden as a country during the time you, you spent over here? Sweden, the どんな経験をしましたんですかそうですね、フェイトギアが出たのは、なんかコンベンションだったと思うんですけど、なんかそこでも、なんか日本の文化が好きな人たちがいっぱいいて、すごい嬉しかったですね。そのライブやってる方も楽しかったです。Uh, so for Sweden, uh, they played at a... Japanese culture convention kind of thing.、Uh, so she was very surprised and、uh, happy to see so many people appreciate、uh, Japanese culture in different ways.、Uh, and also, the live itself was very fun.、Mm-hmm. Uh, you played、uh, two separate shows in Sweden, in fact.、Uh, you played also your Fade Gear X Flights,、uh, which is.、Uh, A, a different kind of a set list.、Uh, um, could you tell us a bit more about this concept of X Flights? And this is something you will be doing more in the future as well. In Sweden, the live of the show was X Flights, and the band was made by the band. In the case of the band, この X フライツについてもうちょっと話してください。そしてあのこれから X フライツも活動するつもりがありますかあはい、えっと、X フライツはあの映画の曲とか、まあ、アニメのちょ曲もちょっとやるためのなんかカバーバンドっていうのかな、フェイトギアーズ X フライツっていう名前をつけてるんですけど。あの去年ツアーやった時にコンベンションに来てる人たちは結構映画好きの人も多いなって思って例えば「スター・ウォーズ」とかそういうの好きな人たちが多かったのでなんか映画の曲をカバーしようと思ってカバーバンドをやりましたで多分次のヨーロッパツアー決まったら何回かカバーでライブやると思います。Uh, so, X Flights is、uh, a bit of a cover band, you could say, where they cover songs from famous movies or anime. And、uh, they figured that it would be something fun to do at、uh, live shows where they played at、uh, 
conventions uh, and stuff like that. And um, she also believes that uh, in future tours abroad, they will probably keep uh, doing the X flight uh, thing as well when the opportunity for it is available. Mm -hmm. um, because you have a different type of audience at these conventions, um, how did they receive? Uh, how did they respond to uh, to your regular Fade Gear uh, metal set when you were playing there live? Eto convention de live yaru toki wa minna ga metal fan na wake dewa nai no de ano. フェイトギアについての反応はどう感じてましたんですかあ、そうですね。でも思ったより盛り上がってくれますね、多分。フェイトギアの曲ってアニメソングっぽいのもあるんで、私が思ってたよりは盛り上がってくれました。でも、やっ
<laughs> is there anything more we, we are able to look forward to? Because we have seen many bands doing streaming concerts uh, or something similar. Do you have any of those kind of events planned, maybe in relation to the upcoming album release? え、<笑> Since they're making an album right now, it's quite hard to uh, plan any concrete uh, live broadcasts. Uh, so for, for now, they don't really have anything set in stone. However, they will be playing a, a one-man show in November in Osaka, and they're thinking about maybe broadcasting that show somehow. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, good for us to keep an eye out on announcement or on Twitter and other social media if this is going to take place. Uh, they will announce when there's something going. Um, thank you so much for, for all this, well, it is uplifting information that a new album is, is, uh, is upcoming. Um, is, is there anything that you would like to, uh, to say to your fans in Sweden, in Europe, abroad, uh, this particular moment? これを見てるファンにメッセージとかがありますかはい、えっと、そうですね。まずは12月、あ、その前に、え、ミュージックビデオが10月ぐらいにおそらく完成するので、それを ネットで配信すると思うので、ぜひ楽しみに待っててください。こちらこそインタビュー読んでくれてありがとうございます。Okay, so first of all, uh, she wants to let everyone know that the music video is looking to get finished in October and will be available on YouTube. So she would be very happy if people watch it when it comes out. And then there will also be the album in December, which will also be available online worldwide when it comes out. And lastly, she's uh, very thankful and happy to, for, for getting the opportunity to do this interview. And uh, she wants to thank all of us for making this happen. Well, I have to thank you, Minasan, for taking the time to do this interview. It has been Really wonderful talking to you. Um, get this news about uh, a new album. It's good to be seeing you again. Looking forward to the next time we will be able uh, to meet. えっと、こちらこそ本当にありがとうございます。えっと、またありがとうございます。<laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.